morning. This super Sunday, although it's evening here, uh, we're filming this on a Monday night. It's fall, and this is a great time for a cookout. I don't know whether you and your families have been camping this year, but I bet a lot of people have because it's a great time of year to camp right now. From now till November is going to be really nice to camp because it's nice and cool. Whenever I go camping, I think about an old story in the Bible. It's a story about the Israelites when they were leaving Egypt and Moses was taking them to the promised land. Well, they had to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. That's a long time. That's a long time to wander in the wilderness. And they cooked out on a fire like this. And they lived in tents. And when they went to church, their church was even in tents. And it kind of reminds me of today in the way that we are now. We can't really get in the church. We have church outside now. And that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat that we're like the Israelites in that way. And the Jewish people, they have a holiday during this time of year called the, the Festival of Booths, which celebrates their time in the wilderness and when, they're in, when they were in tents. And so as a celebration for the Festival of Booths, and just because I like to cook out, I thought we'd cook out tonight and I'd tell you some stories and, and make some bread the way maybe they made bread back then, okay? We got some potatoes and some foil packs and some carrots inside this fire here. We're going to cook a cup of meat tonight. Got a couple sausages here. But I made some, some tortillas, some homemade tortillas. Now all these things are, are just flour and shortening, a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking powder, and a little bit of water. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat them up in the skillet. So we'll put our skillet right on there. And we mixed it all up. And it reminded me of the Israelites because, you know, when they were out in the wilderness, they didn't have much to eat until God provided for them. And God sent them this powdery stuff every morning called manna. It was like a really, really fine flour. Some people call it the, the, the food of the angels. And the Israelites called it manna. And they gather that manna every day. And they'd mix a little bit of oil and a little bit of water in it, kind of like we did with these tortillas. And then they probably cooked them right over the open fire. Now that's not quite hot enough yet. I put that in there too soon. But they let that skillet get really, really hot. And then they browned, browned those. I'm going to put my sausages on there too. We'll put them over there so they can get started. Oh yeah, this is going to be a feast. This is going to be a real feast. But they'd make that bread like this with, with the manna. So hopefully you'll get to see some of it. I'm hoping we get one done. And then maybe a little bit later we can... Okay, give, give us a little time to cook and we'll be right by. One of the cool things I'd like to, like to do and we, we, we can do is we can think about those Israelites as they wandered in the desert and when they made those little cakes out of that manna. Maybe they took a little bit of that manna and a little bit of oil and a little bit of water and made something similar to these tortillas and maybe they even baked them over a fire like we're doing here. Perhaps maybe you'd like to try that yourself. When you do, think about these Israelites as you eat your tortillas, your homemade tortillas. Let's say a blessing. Oh, Holy One, we thank you for this food. We thank you for the love and care that you give to each and every one of us, just like you did your children of Israel when they were in the wilderness. You fed them with manna, and you gave them water where there was no water in the desert. Bless this food, Lord, and bless us as we go about to bring about your new kingdom, the kingdom of love. Amen.
Show. 